Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone I've missed, with a statement and with my heart, welcome to a year rare encounter with me, Ayakara. Uh, today we are going to continue Phoenix Wright. Um, uh, I'll try to summarize what happened so far, but it's a little bit convoluted, so... Okay, uh, this guy, Will Powers, is uh, accused of murdering um, this guy, Jack Hammer. And so far we found out that there is evidence, this is photo, um, of a guy in the costume of the Steel Samurai, the role that uh, Will Powers plays. On its way to the studio where Jack Hammer was killed. Okay, so that was in the last part of the trial. Then we got a um, got another day to find evidence, and we did find evidence. So as you can see, this is the employee area. Here they, here they were uh, training their uh, fight choreography, and. Then at one point, um, Jack Hammer went to Studio One to prepare for uh, the shooting. And then at some point, the the guy in the steel, uh, 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 our client, <laughs> um, Will Powers, went in this building here and took a nap. And someone apparently stole his costume and went by the main gate to Studio One, or at least that's how it seems. We also found um, sleeping pills at the um, at the um, meal they they were eating. That we found a pill of, or was it was it in somewhere, either in the building or at the at the meal place. So, but last time we found out that in Studio 2, while the, the murder was happening in Studio 1, there was a meeting about, uh, with the director, the producer and some bigwigs <laughs> from the studio. So, some people were here, but they seem to have an alibi because uh, here was a statue that was... Um, that was broken down and the statue also broke down a tree so the path was blocked between 2.15 and 4 p.m. Uh, this is the sleeping pills we found this is the murder weapon and yeah uh, time of death was 2.30 p.m. and this photo was taken 2 p.m. so Yeah, the, the timeline is, first, this photo was, was taken, then this hat, uh, I don't think we, we really have a main suspect, but um, th then this hat was broken down, then the guy was murdered, and at some point the hat was uh, cleared, the, the path was cleared. And also what we found out last time is there was a little little kid, this guy, Cody Hackens, and he's a big fan of the Steel Samurai, and he gave us a scrapbook with all his photos of, uh, of the Steel Samurai. Um, Penny Nichols is an assistant, she's also a important, an important um, witness. Uh, this guy, Salmanella, is the creator of Steel Samurai and the director, and he's super shady <laughs> because he's uh, always sweating. So um, last time, I think most people said he had something to do with it, but he was, as I said, one one guy who was at the studio too. And this Di Vasquez, who is the producer, 
and she was also present at the day of the crime, also at Studio 2. Alright. And the security lady, she is not important, but she thinks she is. <laughs> I hope she's not a witness again. I, I don't want to, uh, want to voice her. Okay, so this will pause. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know. Uh, you know we are going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powell is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. So yeah, as, as Mia said, we don't have a defense. We have no suspect. We don't know the motive, we have not enough, uh, we don't even know if we have enough evidence because we don't have a suspect. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, yeah, I think people were saying Salmonella because he does fit in the costume. But he has an alibi because he was at Studio 2, so he didn't, he, he, he couldn't have been. Uh, he would have been, I mean, he could have been in the costume because the costume was stolen at 2 p.m. and the meeting was at, uh, or the, uh, the pass was blocked at 2.15 p.m. but the murder was happening at 2.30 p.m. So, something doesn't add up. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An, an unexpected fact has come to, to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were, there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be if it'll be that producer. The prosecution call uh, <coughs> sorry for wrong voice. Uh, the prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or the director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the, I'm the director. I make, I make the steel samurai noob ruffle. So, Salmonella, I'm the director, television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please, testify to the court about the events of the day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Paul is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the tr in the trailer of the uh, someone in the trailer of on that day did it. Right, she doesn't waste any time pr putting on the pressure. L look at her sassy, uh, her sassy look. She's like, you got this. <laughs> I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing an um, action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. 
We were in the meeting until around four. During the meeting, well, I'm, not, uh, I, I'm pretty sure no one left the chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in, the, we were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, have, we, have we been actually told he was at the meeting? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Hello, Ark. Uh, waves, I'm here. I was just getting the enemy out of my system. <laughs> Okay, so he wasn't sure about one thing where I want to press him, this thing, because he's unsure. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Hmm. Why, did it, why did it go on for so long? Oh, I guess because the spear broke. Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run through. See? Alright, that's the limp. <laughs> yeah. Which of course led me to missing my lunch. Roths. Roths? <laughs> okay. I don't know if anyone ever said that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> even, even comments on that. Mm. I hear that everyone else. Made a lunch. What exactly did they have for lunch? Keep on steak. The assistant to cook some up. Oh god. Face. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones in, uh, on it in the employee area. Uh, everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Okay, so he ended up skipping lunch, but we did find some plates there. Hmm. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah. No steak, at least. Can you believe it? That, that must have been tough. Phoenix. Uh, yeah. Doesn't something seem odd uh, that, of that seem odd to you? It's contradictory? It's a little vague. Um, maybe how can he know that they had T1 steak if he didn't have some? Hmm. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Huh? What do you want? <laughs> do you think he actually says sweats? Or do you think that's just in his text box? <laughs> because he, I, I'm pretty sure he does say ruffle. Does he say his asterisks? Um... When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. He <laughs> therefore says it. <laughs> there were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, uh, 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 good call. Sweats. <laughs> I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Uh, the one steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all the trouble. I bought it 
to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly, man who likes to eat. I suspect as much. I suspect as much. Uh, so, when exactly did you eat? Uh, we took one break to the, during that meeting. I uh, whiffed it down then. Drool. A mental image I will carry carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts the stack system. I press on that one a bit more. Okay. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story in the budget. Get this. The sponsor turned to me and said, Mr. Manana, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for shooting. Can you believe it? Same here, Phoenix. Uh, he also says, can you believe it very often? I don't know when this game came out and when Naruto the English dub came out because I'm I, I, I think he says believe it very often in the uh, in the English dub instead of uh, Date Bayo <laughs> actually I kind of can so nobody left the table during the whole meeting okay this is uh, one where we have to press because as, uh, he just said something like, something different. We didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, no, not the one. Threats. Hmm, what's he sweating about? I wonder. If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second, Mr. Manella, you contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court? That you ate the T-bone steak during the break. Oops, Ruffle. Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, good job. If I took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor. Uh, I call onto the witness to test the to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manel, your testimony, please. Urgh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Edros is laughing. So, Edros already knows something we don't know. Yeah, FWIW, we took a break, Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's 13 in base 12. Um. Fuck. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, um, I'm, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I could. I could try to. Doesn't doesn't matter. <laughs> He's just trying to be a nerd. Um, not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Well, uh, base twelve is uh, we count from one to ten, so that's base ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we go eleven. Oh, uh, other uh, it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then. Uh, we take the one to the front, so then it's one, zero, one, 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 two, one, three, and so and so on. So that's how you count. And in base 12, you basically count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or, or zero, and then 12 is basically the zero of the next step. <laughs> it, it, it's hard to explain, but uh, base two is basically how um, computers work. Or computers. Um, the, the computers save everything in base two. Um, uh, not enough time for now to be not very sure you want. Um, is that only just enough time to eat this keyboard steak? If you ask me, Steve's. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think. 
It was even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Okay. I'm just gonna press everything. <laughs> what time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. Yeah, exactly. We have 10 different characters, but in base 12 we have 12. So in base 16, which is, you may have seen the color codes. So base 16 is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then that's all the 16 characters. So that's how uh, base 16 works. But that's, that's just convention to uh, to, uh, to display those characters that way. It's not always um, it's not always letters instead of digits. Uh, I'd say it was from around 2.30 until 2.30, 2.45. So it was around the time of the murder. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Phoenix, thanks. We already knew that. So it could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. And Edward, Edward is just glaring. Uh, what were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my teamwood stack. What else? There were two plates on the table. Oh right, the other one was Divas. Uh, sorry, Divasquez's place. Divasquez, the producer. To eat a teamwood stack in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Uh, why is it? <laughs> haven't, he, haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely, you aren't suggesting one of these people in this trailer were to, uh, went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, right, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give an answer. Do you claim that someone from this trailer went to Studio One? This is again. I I know how the how the case went in my head, but I don't know if I can already get to that. Because we know the path was blocked. I think this is just just a check if we know this. And if we don't say this, uh, Edgeworth will say, oh no, but the path was blocked. So they only took a break between 2.30 and 2.45, so they couldn't have gone to Studio One. So I'm gonna take this one. I don't want to write off so many suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to studio to the studio in that time. Haha! <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly t treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right be right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Miss Monkey Head barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Miss Monkey's severed head. Uh, it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edwards has a point. 
And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Miss Manella, Mi Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Well, I could have done without that, without that back shot. Um, very well. The court's opinion on this, you know, on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several people, uh, several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it was also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. <laughs> I don't think I can object to the, the judge, but that's certainly an objection. Um, furthermore, with regards to the, photo, uh, to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he, he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid, I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed evidence, uh, decisive evidence, a witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. At the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a 10 minutes recess, after which we will hear we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for the recess. Does any any of you already have an idea how how and what happened? <laughs> uh, October 19, 10.04 District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. What do we know? What do we do now, Mio? If everyone in the trailer has an alibi, I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia, don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, give up, what do I have? <laughs> what hope do I have? You have no clue who could it be. Okay. Paus... Ah. Paus was killed at Studio 1 and moved to Studio 2. Very good. And what was the murder weapon? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The fencing outside the trailer. Right. <laughs> good good eye and good, good memory. You are on the right track. If I remember correctly, at least. So now we just have to get the game to understand what happened. <laughs> Uh, the people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought... I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh... What's going to happen to me? It kinda seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai. He will to children everywhere after all. I. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Uh, 
that would also explain why the camera is sliding his foot and looking away from the camera in the picture. Uh, no, that part isn't isn't explained yet because the picture was taken uh, was taken at 2 p.m. So the picture was taken before the meeting even began. And and that also doesn't solve the mystery how uh, Cody could see the murder. So that's what we are unraveling now because Edward thinks he's super. Uh, super smart and just brings the kid here because the kid um, saw the murder happening. Uh, the prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great schooler of tender years and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with its cruel questioning. Edgeworth, no, you bring this witness here. <laughs> it's Nice to see Edward taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. Uh, Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? <laughs> uh, oh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Oh, of course, donuts. One of those. <laughs> of course. Um, will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! What? Just cause you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around? Uh, Cody? Answer this question, okay? Hey, it's you, it's a nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you are speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. He's baby. <laughs> Witness! Uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw, the day, saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps over the, uh, with a beard over there? Just. Oh, these quick things are too, too fast for me. Uh, a very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this court. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I like, I'd like special permission if that's possible. <laughs> Wait. You're, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all uh, that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if, he, if I had that camera uh, on, the, on the day of the murder. You'd better make note of that in the court record. Call this camera. Add it to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please, testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. On the day of the incident. Witness account. I wanted to see this new samurai's rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went through the woods uh, of the past so that the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I was kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came to the studio, there was a steel samurai. And it totally walked right before my eyes. Uh, out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with, him, with me, that would be time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. So yeah, 
Did you all catch that? <laughs> hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we've seen here, honestly. So yeah, I'm thinking it's this one. Child sees cold blood murder and does not face at all. Got it. Uh, no, he didn't see a cold, uh, cold blood murder. He, he saw in real life what he saw on television all the time. But this one, if I had my camera with me, that would be the time for a shot, I tell you. Because we have evidence that he said Cody always carries it. Uh, so he's still learning how to use it. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You are quite clear about that. <laughs> the face. <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? <laughs> Nightmare view. <laughs> Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh, uh oh, was I put was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Is it like an iconograph? <laughs> oh god, it's um a digital camera, your honor. Kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um, Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should, uh, should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> well, Cody? Ooh. The burn. <laughs> what? Yeah, so, I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So you did you have your camera? And you did? Uh, and did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then... Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. Huh. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Huh. attacked first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? <clears throat> I told you, a person. He, he was a person. How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. 
What's Tomb Raider watching? It's the Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Hmm. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? H how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, so something like that. He's still being uh, vague about things. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Hmm. Something's bothering me. Uh, before you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah, somewhat. Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness had stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do. Ah, uh, wrong voice. <laughs> you know, you know as well as I do that he's being vague. <laughs> Double objection. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> um, Zangief. Um, I don't know. That's. That's the only one I can imagine. My point is... Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed? Something vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't see Cody the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Maybe he didn't see anything. Mm. I don't know. He's he's so vague. He could make all this up for some reason. So, uh, Mr. Wright, your answer. <clears throat> We have, we have ever <coughs> ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climate of the fight? He couldn't watch it. He was watching something else. Show evidence. <laughs> because he was so... Uh, because Cody was so traumatized, he repressed it to spare himself the misery. Objection. Um, why wouldn't he watch the climate of the fight? Is this the time for the crap? Uh, the scrapbook. The scrapbook. Because in the scrapbook, he he um, he has a photo of every time. Camera. You think he was he was fiddling with his camera because he wanted to take a photo? That's that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with that. It it it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a shot, but uh, Yana, I have evidence. 
Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Take that! Take that! Here's my proof. Good, good job, Ark. Uh, here's my proof. What's that? The camera? Uh, the witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with this operation. I'm aware of that too. Oh, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at, the, at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bullseye! What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could uh, just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? Uh, there was only one reason why he would have looked away from the fight. And that was because he would wanted to take a picture. But having just received a camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix? I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. B very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about, the, about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo? Yeah, you're right, Pops. This day Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Y yup. Hmm. Anything strange in the testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Just escaped from the clutches of the villain? Uh, so you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? The extra yup is suspicious, like he's confirming his lie. Uh, yeah. I think he just saw the person in the samurai suit kicking the statue and not the, the villain, so I think he, he witnesses, witnessed that the statue wasn't blown over by the wind, but by this guy. Um, um, well, uh, I guess the steel samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Why couldn't you take a picture? My, two, two, my new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. Uh, when the lens opened, what did you see? Um, well, a person on the ground. And this is the samurai. Uh, that's all? Yeah. I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I... Uh, I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even one? No, I definitely, definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackens. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? H how did you know? I see through all of your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. 
Uh, okay, see you later. See you in a bit. Wow. This feels great. Y yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? Yeah, I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. What's this fucking kid? Uh, you erased them? Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steve Samurai? Oh, because he didn't win! Damn, I forgot this. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. Why would I po would I would I, why would I want to, to keep a picture like that? Hmm. It's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon. Some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid is all about. The steel samurai has had just escaped from the clutch of the I headed my camera to take a picture. But the lens would, wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Okay. I think this is the time for the scrapbook. Because he wouldn't he, he wouldn't erase the photos if the Sea Samurai has won, because he has every victory scene of every battle. So it's time for Objection! Objection! Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it for something bad. I just want to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. With Zam. I got them all. I never waste one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did. I find it hard to believe that you would have, that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I. I see. <clears throat> Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of, his, uh, of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Ooh, that was some realization that just hit him, <laughs> that just hit Phoenix. No, wait, no way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the pictures he took? <laughs> the photos were blurry. He erased them by mistake. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. 
That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way, no. It's impossible. That Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Yana. The witness has reviewed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> nice. I will have order. Witness, I mean, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I. <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. The sea samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Wah. Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Mr. Wright? The sea samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to our witness testimony, the sea samurai was the one who fell. Right, what's going on? You just noticed how weird his eyebrows are? Okay. I think those eyebrows are very... Uh, very noticeable. <laughs> um, apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Uh, Hammer was the victim. See, Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Um, this samurai was a victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the steel samurai fa fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the, sam the, samurai, the steel samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the steel samurai. Order, order, order! So the steel samurai in this photograph, you say, the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Uh, that's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through this morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Mr. Power's foot injury. But wait! Had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbeck said in her testimony? Oh god. On the day of the murder, I arrived in the guard, guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I... I don't know. I, I get it. 
I thought that the samurai was moving strange. So, it was a different person inside this year. Pups! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece, piece of data that I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Hmm. What? Show us, quick! No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? Oh, is this, is this a left-handed, right-handed thing? Maybe not. I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, see you later anyway <laughs> in Discord or something. So, yeah. Bye, Seth. Uh, thanks for dropping by, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That... Uh, that's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win the trial. What? Your Honor. May I see the photo once more, please? Uh, certainly. I didn't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the fact, as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Um. Studio. Wait, which was the studio? This is Studio 2, S2. The hands? Why the hands? Do we know the left and right handed thing? Is this a thing we know? <laughs> I think maybe it's a 2. Because. No, I, I think it's the two. Uh, Yona, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly, not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees where I'm, what I'm getting at. But that's impossible! <laughs> the judge is so slow. <laughs> What's this all about? Please explain so I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. So yeah, the studio, uh, the body was found here in Studio 1. However, what we do see in this photo, taken at the time of the murder, it does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. So the judge where the murder took place. Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. Uh, but very significant that the place is here too because the path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. 
Uh, yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember, remember Salmanella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said, no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to the Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the ones with the access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. As you may recall, this is the trailer in, stu in Studio Two. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that, that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were eating outside. Uh, were eating outside. Were outside eating a steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person uh, that the security guard Ms. Oldberg saw was the victim, Jack, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did, it, uh, he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. <sighs> Is it time for the sleeping pills? What do you reckon? I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Reed? <laughs> now that there's a surprise suddenly, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. This is it. Uh, an empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant Mr. Powers spent an entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some sp suspicion, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Um, fingerprints the bottle. It, it's a bit late for that. Test power slot for residue. Mm, examine Hammer's body for whatever. I mean, I don't know how how Phoenix handled the. You you think blood? I don't I don't know how long it, it's been. Uh, if the if the stuff is still uh, if the stuff is still evident in his blood. Yeah, but fingerprints would also connect it directly to Hammer and not only show that uh, Powers was drugged. Maybe it's wrong. Uh, an idea? Very well, let's see it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should, be on, uh, should show up on this bottle. I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. The judge. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities to this, in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbeck may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. 
scene of the crime was not Studio 1 but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did not have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Yeah, that's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, uh -huh. you will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to re reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. The trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Okay. Very well. Court is adjourned. <clears throat> That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. Me too. Really? <clears throat> you both seemed so so confident. Huh. Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back then. Me too. D dead? <laughs> of course. We're kidding. Uh, are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's by tomorrow's trial. R right. Thanks. Yeah, I think I will at least finish this trial for. I think that, that that will fit nicely. So let's find out who did it and uh, most importantly the motives because I have no idea what happened. I mean I have, I have an idea what happened but I have no idea why. So uh, that was a close one, huh Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Maya. So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a good idea who did it. Now all I need, need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. I initial trial? What's that? That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So. Under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. Mm. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai's costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Uh, yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what he, that's what we have to find out. Hmm. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh? Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the, the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. What? Hmm. Was my was my always this excitable? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? Uh, I can't see what go what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should we should go to talk to WP. Uh, WP powers. Right. Right, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not like your 
Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, well, Nick. You must have really wowed him there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP. Only one day left. Let's make it count. Y yes. So there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what can I do, what can I uh, what I can do either. Uh, please, this is no lasting matter. Okay, so maybe we can get a few more informations. Uh, I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But. That he just dropped off the face of the earth? Uh, oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's why he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward for a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it. That was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago? Hmm. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Uh, oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares to tell her differently these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing. Forget it. I... I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Okay, so he's still keeping secrets from us. Uh, can you anything... Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director, but something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought us she brought the steel samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmanella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, so whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. Uh, I can imagine him being at her beck and call, so I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> Huh. So now we have a bit more personality of the of the guys. Hmm. And something happened five years ago. We don't know what. Oh no. <laughs> Can we just skip her? The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Uh, Nick? I think her guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat, a don eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. Oh. oh. You eat, you die. Oh, she's alive. Okay. So, she was told not to talk, I guess. Uh, about Mr. Hammer. Ark! I heard about what you said today. Cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer. You take a star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, I, I. I won't forget this. Uh-oh, uh she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippers Never. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. <sighs> um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Uh, uh, oh, the studio big wigs love her. She... Uh, so she always gets away. She seems bitter. Hmm. Do you not like the producer? Uh, look, the studio people don't know, don't want me talking about her. So sorry. Hmm, okay. So yeah. 
Uh, can I ask you about Sal Manila, the director? Uh, Sal? He's a soft uh, pushover. That's what Eva Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Mm. <laughs> oh, innocent little Maya. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, darling Nick. Uh, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. <laughs> Oh, they, they, did, they don't even, they don't even hint further at it, so, to keep it PG, I guess. Nice. But yeah, I can, I can certainly see that kind of relationship. October 19, Global Studios Employee Area. I guess they are not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. This trial will, will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see the film later. I guess. This is where you found the bottle of the sleeping pills, right? Uh huh. I wonder if there's any clues lying around. Yeah. No, no, no. No touching. Oh, sorry, Paul. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had heart attack. <laughs> I guess. I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose. It's act on me. Uh, dramatic, indeed. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm here to examine the plate at the table. Wait. Are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, Paul. Trace is off. Hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> so you're looking for traces of sleeping pills? How? Uh, for our examination, I've got to take the plate back to the prison. But I have the capabilities to make cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to the sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Neat. Well, Detective Gansu, what are you waiting for? No, no, everything in due time, Paul. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So, so the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court record. Found in the abri area, on it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. This case is longer than is taking longer than I expected. Yeah, I know. It's it, it it seemed very cut and dry at the beginning because there was only one uh, one one victim and one suspect and yeah. Um, I'm 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 sure the the next one. Will, I, I think they, they will become similar than the, the next ones. They are all ridiculous, but yeah, I, I think they, the, if I remember correctly, the, the next ones also have some twists. Okay, investigation. <clears throat> how, goes your, how goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, Paul. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against powers. And some people think we should sp switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumption? Well, Pa, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Hmm. How's Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, Pa. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, crushing paper cups. <laughs> cups, bottles? Uh, say, what happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of treatment pills? Well, I've got some good news about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So the 
that means. Yep, it sounds like the one who puts the power. To put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. Uh, so I was right. The sleeping pills bottle added to the court records. So this is my current my current theory what happened. Um, I think for some reason Hammer was feeling or Hammer was uh, underused and he was feeling underused. And then he heard about a meeting and Powers was personally invited. So to attend that meeting, he stole the costume and go went to that meeting, but the meeting was really to kill, or not, maybe it was an accident, but I'm not sure, but maybe the, they would um, purposely kill off Powers to boost the publicity and then uh, use hammers for the for the rest of the series. So basically, it was it was the switcheroo, and they killed the wrong guy. That's my my theory because I, I've I've forgotten what it really was, but that does make sense for me right now. <laughs> And then they realized they killed the wrong guy, and then they went on and put him in the in the other costume and placed him in the in the other studio. How they did that, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can talk to him. And let's look in the dressing room. Oh, it's Penny. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP is innocent. Uh, yes, and I'm really grateful for all of you, for all you've done. But... Uh, this week is the last episode of Sea Samurai. Hmm. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> What? No! They wanted him to die so people would tune in. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does make sense because... Um, that would certainly make the, the last... Um, but why would they kill him now when not everything is filmed yet? That doesn't make sense. It's, it's a bit too soon. <laughs> but maybe if they if they really did use uh, hammer for the rest of the shoot, maybe that would work. Um, what do you mean the last sea samurai? Uh, I know it's a shark, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the sea samurai's death warrant. No, no. And also, I hear that, that Global Studio is going to change its programming. They're not going to make a kids show and kids shows anymore. What? Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Huh? Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The studio big wigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all of th this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. Uh, I think evidence rather than words is called for here later. Uh, for here. here, take a look at this. 
Um... This is a fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love Steel Samurai. The show couldn't, uh, shouldn't be cancelled just for some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Y you're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me. What is it that Global Studios is so intent on hiding? Tell me about this accident five years ago. Accident? Was that just a, a bluff? <laughs> okay. Uh, I was wondering if you, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio Two. Well, I thought he went to Studio One. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why won't Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the producer, has some kind of hold on Mr. Hammer. Uh, she had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know? Bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using a new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was too. Oh, the film set. Was the trailer part of the film set then? Huh. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Hammer? Uh, and that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbeck. She was here at the studios back then, you know? Uh, thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Hmm. The plot thickens. What? You're still sneaking around? If you like this place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windpack doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think makes Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! Uh, she's starting to frost at the mouse, Nick. Maybe you should keep a safe distance? Hmm. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Um, Alt F4? <laughs> who, who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Uh, Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. This is to talk to. Oh, right. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! Stretching a dirt on someone's past like that. 
At the recent the department, no less. I suppose you think this is funny? No. No, I'm just doing my, my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that that hammer stole Powers costume? You expect me to believe this rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Powers stole... Uh, that hammer stole Powers costume. <sighs> I I have a feeling she will can I uh, don't know she will jump at me when I show her this but I'm sorry Miss Oldbeck but I do have proof I can prove that Mr Hammer stole Mr Paul's costume here's my proof so, what what's a little empty bot bottle supposed to prove it's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr Hammer's fingerprint on it what does that prove I'm sure. Or oh, old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used the pills on Powers? Take that! Uh, Mr. Powers ate a T bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes. So this is the plate that he used and uh, he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on that plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldback. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, you see. Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldback. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who, who made it all better? Vasquez. She had ties to the Mafia. Oh, of course. Of course. Why didn't we think of this? It's so obvious. <laughs> she has ties to the Mafia. She silenced the paparazzi. And that was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbeck, hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbeck. Here, take this. A, a photograph? Wait a second. This is a picture. Is this a trailer of Studio 2? Hannah was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of the stairs here. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. Uh, but how did you get this? It... It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Hmm. Do you reckon she was a paparazzi? And out of guilt, she works here now? <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Studio One entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio Two? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Okay, we can't go to Studio One. The mascot of Global Studios, apparently its name is Mr. Monkey. Hmm. Studio Two is down that way. Studio Two is the real scene of the crime. 
Say, Nick, how did you figure that out again? Well, actually, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. <laughs> Aww. Oh, she's she's right here. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Maya, we should, should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Hmm. Um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... you did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. <laughs> My fey blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer by yourself. Oh, oh dear. Seth has returned. Welcome back, Seth. There... Uh, you missed... When When did you leave? Um, or you, you left in the middle of the... of the... Uh, of the court. So... We basically found out that the murder took place here, in Studio 2, and then we said that um, the Hammer, Jack Hammer, stole the Steel Samurai costume while uh, Will Powers was sleeping, and then he went to here, and then he got murdered. That's what we got from the court. Ca court. <laughs> and you, you uh, finally found the Franz logo <laughs> in the background. I had this in the last stream too. Um, yeah, and. Um, And then we found out that five years ago, the the Jack Hammer accidentally killed a, a stuntman or a, another actor, and the other, the other actor fell on the spike here that that bent a little, and they never used this Studio Two again to film. And from that point on, the the woman, the D Vasquez, just uh, had him in his hand because she. Uh, she silenced the whole rumor mill and because she has um, apparently she has uh, connections to the mafia <laughs> and yeah uh, there are some flowers here wow so pretty they're taking good care of these right they're taking good care of these that's interesting okay uh, don't get too close that fence looks dangerous yeah, here uh, this is the uh, the photo when the when the guy was killed. Uh, the, five years ago, the guy, not the guy this time. Uh, the trailer door, it's unlocked. <clears throat> and the. This woman doesn't want to talk to us. So we can check the trailer maybe. 
there's someone here. Um, wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Fun. It still seems pretty messy in here. Uh, I guess you were still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Mm -hmm. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Mm. This is where they had the meeting. See so documents and paper cups scattered around. It looks like they're, they're using a design set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spent, they spent that much money on those sets. Hmm. Not movie posters, the singing samurai starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Shopping of pets? Oh my god! That movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing samurai stars. What's, what's next? Ninja Ballet? Uh, I think I've already uh, already examined those posters at a, an earlier time. Huh. Oh, maybe we can show the the photo to. Hmm. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I well. Oh, it back. Oh, old. She means security lady, Miss Old Pegnick. Right, anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind? Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Okay. That guy looks like a snake. Wait, which guy? Huh, you came. Well then. What's that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that. Uh, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer, so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. Hmm. Huh. So I'm a blackmailer now. Oh, the guy on the fence looks like Snake from Metal Gear. Okay. <laughs> well, he just looks like he has a biking suit on. And maybe a mask and a hatchet. Uh, so I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Harrier down from his rightful place as a star. Oh, I didn't put anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour on his, uh, of his own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him. And you think it was just an accident? Excuse me. Was it? A, what is this all about? You kept saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be? Uh, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it? On purpose? That's what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life... Uh, would he have run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. 
Oh, well, she was a big fan of Hammer, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo and he brought the photo and food into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand. She did. Gave him a few bruises too. So that's why she just had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could, he could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me, now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys? Mm. Web? Um, who are they? Professionals. They are good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about that where you are going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! <laughs> Maybe that was a bit too short. No! Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you are coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. I, I'm not sure why the... Why the mafioso guys... I mean, maybe it's it's harder to um, erase uh, uh, police detectives than a uh, lawyer, but I'm not sure. So it was still five against three. So <laughs> hey, you okay, pal? Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice this sort of thing. Detective Gamsho, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Did you take off Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> okay. I've got more, one more job today to do today. I'm sure we'll run into, into each other again soon. Ah, He's just an old... An old, old big softie. <laughs> well, Nick, it looks like we are getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Um, maybe she was afraid Gumshoe wasn't alone. Um, maybe. I mean, she doesn't seem like the type of woman who would just let multiple policemen run around their property, but maybe. Okay, then final day trial. Yeah, let's wrap this up. So after this trial, uh, for once, no cliffhanger. We are gonna finish this. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final trial of this, day, of this trial, the final day. I hope the prosecution and the defense will be able to present deci decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. 
In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people. I will call on people present in, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edwards seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> the prosecution calls Ms. D. Vasquez to the stand. Ms. D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer, trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Glow Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please, give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. First one is said, they're not name the job normally. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> but only because she's already very um, very very quick to, to answer. But not very talkative, that's what I meant. Not very talkative, so yeah. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. The day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a, re there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Saul take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Saul and I ate tea room flakes on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when he went to Studio One. That's all. Well, that's already not enough. <laughs> I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had to take. Uh, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm. There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. Okay. So that's obviously where sh how they transported the, uh, the corpse. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Um, how did she even know about the, about the head? I mean, maybe she heard it, but nah. Monella used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting trail. I I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. A little bit foggy. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee uh, at the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. 
The witness did, come, did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please, stop banging me on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <clears throat> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so I went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I forgot. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> Damn it! She's very difficult. Uh, the meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it, would be, it was between those times. You would think? Come on! All you did was state the obvious at first. I was fatigued so I had thought it. Hold on. You had Saul take you? What does that mean? It means that I what I just said. I had Saul take me in, studio, in the studio too well right then. Oh, alright. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. At which... and what were you doing during the time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. So I ate tea on the front, uh, on the table in front of the trailer. So. Do you have someone who can verify this? So. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a tea one steak. If I had the evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Where, Nick? Find anything? I can't have wished she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Okay. Okay, this may seem a little bit weird, but I know we didn't find the bones. Um, the bones at studio at studio two. So I know I don't know if this counts as evidence that they didn't eat T bone steak. Because this 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 plate has the bone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't mean to press it. I wanted to press the other button. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if this, if this is right, but I'm trying. Ha! Huh, as I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I saw you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has, le has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember if you will? Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Ooh, she felt that. <laughs> Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think you know, I know how. You ate the bone too! <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. You didn't eat the steak. Yeah, obviously, she didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat, eat any steak during your break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator? I... I see. 
then. What was Miss Vasquez doing during, the, uh, during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmonella, meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the Steel Samurai. And then... You did it. You killed him with your own hands. I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to say that? He's not allowed to say that? Um, Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And he was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest? Very well. Let us have a battle of your wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the Samurai Spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Um, you couldn't. I think you would have... You, you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Um. Oh, because the duct tape. It wouldn't even have held. <laughs> Why didn't we notice this first, this earlier? I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning, morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed this with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a sick costume with this, through the chest. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testing going here and I will be hurt. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell, what was it? How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Yeah. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what, a weapon it, what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see the murder weapon. Yeah. Take that. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have... Order! 
This trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is the photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man uh, in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Mr. Wright, continue. At 2.30 p.m. on the other day, uh, on the day of the murder, Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside of Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs and onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done himself, uh, had himself done five years ago. So whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died the same way that caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Um, no? It's not ironic, it's coincidence. Ho ho, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. You deny what I said is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio 2, was it not? And in the evil mattress that costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body? I, I'm sorry? Uh, I then claiming that I carried the body to Studio 2, SV1, and returned to the trailer in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have, dis how could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? then carried to Studio 1 and placed inside his costume. There wasn't enough time. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could you have dealt with the body? She could have put him in the... Uh, in the van. She had another way. What if she had another way to carry his body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter... There was no need for her to do, it, to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One and you used the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was a rehearsal afterwards, so she, uh, we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had salt taken. There was a van there, right? I had salt driving. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body in the magistrate costume. Objection! Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sam Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was his conspirator? Uh, of course he was. Of course, Sam Manella has, has, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. 
there's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They properly burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? <laughs> um. So, what happens next? Don't question mark me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? <laughs> Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. W w w what? Uh, no, if this was happened RL, she would have get she would uh, she would get a separate trial because this trial is just to prove uh, that Mr. Powers murdered uh, murdered the guy. So she's just a witness. She can't even she can't even be um, held accountable. <laughs> it's just yeah. I mean, she, she has to tell the truth, of course. And if she doesn't, she can uh, get in trouble for that. But admitting that you murdered someone while you are a witness, I don't... Uh, I think... I, I'm pretty sure she has to get a separate trial. Uh, Mr. Edwards, your thoughts? Um, uh... <laughs> of course, it's as the, as the witness says. Certainly. It does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there is no proof. I trust it, sure. Well... Yeah, the, the lawyer in the YouTube video said a second trial, so uh, legal eagle. Uh, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? Um, hmm. Miss Vasquez, you did it. That wasn't a question. Um, did you do it? <laughs> no. Mr. Wright. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. I'm not sure that question helps this court to get any closer to verdict. Look, what do I do now? Um, testify again? I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. To come so far only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end this cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> a 
Edgeworth? Äh, hier ist Mr. Edgeworth. <lacht> I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <lacht> Setz. That's very, very good. <laughs> uh, I see. Very well. Yana! <laughs> I request that... I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does it make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have get, uh, anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I do see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly does you want, want her to testify about? Hmm, uh, yes, um... Indeed, verily I say. Ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body. Very well. <laughs> yes, Edgeworth is helping us now because Edgeworth is for justice and for truth. He's, he finds the truth no matter what. No, he gets his verdict no matter what, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always get a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. After finding the body. Okay. <clears throat> I was, was, I was with Saul and Oldbeck, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady Oldbeck was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. I see no issues by raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We are close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on a spot, she sure, uh, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in the costume with some another's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not say I wasn't stuffing anybody into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy. The witness will continue her testimony. The system was there too, only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. You'd expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough when I accused you of murder. 
Hmm. That's harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discover a murdered body and the person was missing, right? Would you would you normally go looking for a missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without this steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really doesn't really stand out. You often left him left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one knows this, noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I immediately go to this, and Powers shot. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. I was silent. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived at the scene. Uh, sorry. Sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Silence. Hey! Hey, Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. The security lady Oldback was quite agitated, pointing at Power, saying he did it. Hold back, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers has done it? She said it because he saw, she saw him going towards the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Uh, did, the, did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have, uh, she seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all that after the fact. The photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't really think there's anyone in there I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you. Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of... Uh, lo a lot riding on it with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require they, they, they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and your direction notes? Yes. They were they are quite valuable. It wouldn't it wouldn't do it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Huh? What? Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. What? <laughs> Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. <laughs> yeah, it's... How could she have known there was a murder before she went to the place? So dumb. Thanks. <laughs> Edgeworth did notice. Uh, your Honor, I have an objection to the witness last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you think? Uh, don't you see that? Don't you see what that means? 
she would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Just add to us! What have you just said? This re is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make, make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edward is helping me. Hmm. So, the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had the perf a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness bait will change her testimony to reflect this reason. Uh, I knew that Hannah was injured and couldn't do... I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Um, no, it was it was Powers who was injured. Yeah. <laughs> how did you know about the injury? How how did I know? Sal, he told me. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a typo. But still... <laughs> yeah, it, it's a typo, but it's also... Uh, she, she, ca she can't know. Uh, Sal, the director, hmm. You have to find something to pack this uh, on her here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. It was the only thing that seemed right to me, <laughs> because in that costume was Hammer and she only knew he was injured because she saw him. So yeah, um, you knew that Hammer was injured, don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was a steel samurai who was injured. Okay, o also it wasn't a typo. <laughs> It was Will Powers. W what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through it that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said. It was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer Limpin. 
Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Monero. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah. And... When... And when was he doing this? Well... It would have been... After he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were so. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Not yet. We didn't figure out why Hammer did pretend to be Powers. <clears throat> order! Order! I will have order! Witness! Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are, why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there's a reason, it's unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on that matter? In other words, can you prove she has had a motive? Yeah, she must have thought it was powers? Um, I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one. Ah, okay, I have proof and I will show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Hmm. So it's the photo again, or, or, or what? <laughs> Psst, Maya, look! This is it! Why are you showing that to me? And why are you whispering? I was just testing it on you. Huh? Well, I'm afraid your test results are negative. Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor? Hurry up with it! We have a certain tempo we have to maintain here. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Right, here goes. Oh, I, I, did, I didn't even lose, lose points for that, okay. So, it's this photo then? Okay, it, it, it is this photo. Okay. Um. Uh, this is my proof. Uh, this is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The case currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Iron ironically enough, that accident pre precipi precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from Stalin. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you, for petty change. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We're talking about motives here, yet you only have talked about Mr. Hammer. It's almost as if. As if Mr. Hammer. Uh, if, 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 as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Mr. Vasquez have? Y yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no re reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of good men. Uh, of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Ms. Vasquez's motive for this murder. Okay, so she has no motive. But that would mean it was an accident. Hmm. There's also a possibility that Hammer was in on the plan. And he didn't want powers to die. He, he wanted power to powers to get a get another shot. So he sacrificed himself. <laughs> uh, but I think she has no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Ms. Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Ms. Vasquez. What? What? Oh, of course. That does make sense. And he wanted to pin it on, on powers. Your Honor, why didn't we? Why didn't we suspect him? He was shady. He did. He did use sleeping pills and everything. Oh man, uh, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore his costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for that pur and for what purpose you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the stair from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No. Please, please don't die. Please. So. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Divasquez? 
In the waiting lobby, your honor. As Carlman collected silver. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, your honor. I think not, your honor. Will Powers was innocent. That... Uh, that you should have found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court, find, this court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. That's all. This court is adjourned. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. Yes, yes, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Laskers, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Okay, so this is a bonus. Bonus question. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a scrapbook. He wanted he wanted the admiration of the fans. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put you uh, wanted to put the blame on you because. Because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to, act to acting in the kids' show and as a villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh, hehe. <laughs> Thanks to you. I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into the sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? N no, of, of course not. Ah. Nick Edgeworth. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um... That was too bad, Edwards. <laughs> you don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, um, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> Ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better we had not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't this kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You, listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? They are rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? Uh, for now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth?
and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a, quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was a talk, the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios resought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You are going to watch it with, with me, right? I admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy... Uh, you have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead, the lead again? Uh, I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real world powers. The end. Whew, that was a ride. <laughs> I must admit, that was quite a, a quite a twisty, twisty trial. In the end, it was just self defense. <laughs> Weird. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there, so this time, no cliffhanger. Next time we are starting with episode four. I think, can, uh, can I? I, I can't uh, check how many. Well, um, maybe I'll show the intro sequence so it's still a cliffhanger. Or maybe not. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. What? Edgeworth? Okay, and with that, I'll leave you for this week. <laughs> Next week, we'll continue this case that didn't even start yet. It's Christmas themed, as you see, December 25th, 25th. And yeah, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for watching. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do this without you. And um, yeah, I, I hope you have a very nice, or I, I can maybe plug the Discord and the... If I could type nearly as bad as... Well, forget it. <laughs> you, all, you all are already in the Discord. If not, it's discord.fronts.tv. or just fronts.tv for the website where you can find all our schedules and when we are streaming and yeah I hope you have a very nice rest of the day rest of the weekend very pleasant start into the week and now you bye